Welcome back from the break. This is Life Stories and we are still with Sam Gombia. Growing up with a disability was tough for Gombia. Getting acceptance in the job market was one challenge which almost broke his self-esteem. He soon discovered that as a person with a disability, he had to do much more to prove himself to potential employers. And so for people with disabilities, as rejection follows rejection, many give up the hope of ever finding employment and instead resort to begging on the streets. What are the significant memories you have or that one thing that you think could have happened to you simply because you have this disability? I remember one time when I came here, somebody told me, Chief uh, Timinalamba, at Simba they want somebody with a, a voice. So I came, I'm sorry to say about Simba because that's where I work and uh, that's the experience I have. Uh, when, I, when I go to there, uh, so the way the, uh, my manager, I mean the way the manager then looked at me, he thought I could not do anything. Before even... Uh, before you said a word. Before I said a word, before he interviewed me, he said, will you manage? He laughed at me. Will you manage? Will I manage what? Will I, have I come here Oxitulevi into or managing what? But, I I went back. I told my wife, you know, they have rejected me. And you thought it was because of your... Yeah, yes. The way he looked at me, the way he went, I mean, I entered his office. Mm. Mm. He was so surprised. Then I came back. Somebody, another person tipped me. He said, he told me, you go back to Simba. They want somebody. Why don't you try it? Mm. I told him I tried. But they don't, I don't think they... They want this kind of a person, me in particular. Mm. So he told me, go back. So I came back. At that time, they tried my voice. <laughs> he had my voice. So he kind of, I don't own of this voice. So I said, yeah, the voice is mine. So he laughed. He told me, Bonoko said no video, Jakuomori. Ever since, te bango bango. And how 13 years now. How does that make you feel today? Mm, that I'm still working with Simba. I'm a happy man. I'm very happy. Uh, because I used my voice. I used what I had. And I'm just appealing to the managers. Some people out there don't take the person the way he is. Test him and see whether he can really do what mm. you want mm. out of him or her. Mm. Because Abanima Basoma, Bafaye, once you employ Omlema, he or she will take that because she knows she doesn't have anywhere to go. They don't have many chances. Many, many chances mm. they don't. So tell us about what you've achieved and how you've been able to achieve it. I'm, I'm a prominent of... artist. Mm. I'm a journalist. I can sing and I'm a politician. I'm representing people with disabilities. So and I've tried a lot. I've tried hard to sit with it that at least somehow, somewhere, these people, they, be, they, they feel free in the society. I've sensitized, I've tried to sensitize the, the, the public I've tried to sensitize the fellow councillors I'm with, I'm working with. I've tried to sensitize the government. Mm. We should treat them because they are all human beings. I think they can be better people because we are all human beings. We've seen you talk about family several times, mm. and from what you've said, I understand that family can be a great 
backbone oh. for somebody with disabilities mm. to help themselves, mm. to have some, some trust in themselves. So talk to families out there. Can families raise it at HV? The Zilia Yombial, Chigambakati, family the Zili, is a Zita Yamba. Nigger Solo Quayamba. Look at your man of Murema Babakuri, the family in Ga Edi, innocent, Oya Jacova Bolonjino. Ne family Edi a weird way yo. Edi Zilia weird one say yo mu viaro. Bevan of a single suffering. Katia will be in Jagala. Kwanga tena viva singo gamanti katifu viva tuloga ni tufu na avalema so they don't turn of fire yukumulema oyo katifu mpa amagezi niti hapa andaba no mubayambe baba tebeta agachine nenyo ili ya masomero katifu yunga katale mua baba uwe sovola tuwa lomua na yudisabili tebajirabe maangu baba na ajiraba ngabuchari baso volo kumuyamba mungiri mubachi ovendalo just what big lesson have you picked from living with a person that has a disability but is so contented, is so grateful for his life, he has chosen to live? Love to him, particularly in between. Over my life, over in over my life, over China, we manga mwe mwagalana. That's the strongest reason of living together. Oluna kuruja lumu mubola mule ya Gaza. Ela neruwa o o teru danati. Nangolo alero ho, kifunyo no gwenja gala, kaka sanava anga no no, siri muleka, leka ngambe, nava anga no no, siri muleka. Uh, the PWDs are also human beings. They can really do something once you give them the chance to do it. Come out, give them what they should really have get from you, the government. Let the hospitals be accessible for them. Let the banks, let, let the government come up with a policy for these people and stick to it. Atebu omulema, yes. Omulema mnange. Eh, omulema mnange. Batu gamanti, omulema sibu te sobola. Ulu se zo saying zizi tuono ona. Tue sobole wetu sobola. Tue kwa gizanti, atense na kola antiyama ama uwe. Muli ne intondo abalema temwagala buli kasera mulooza era mu mubatagala Uganda ya lero teri agenda kufa no one is going to care about you ngagwe twe fudeko we feko then nense agenda kufa ko Gombia believes that through sheer hard work, strong willpower, and tenacity, everyone stands a chance of achieving his or her dreams. The key is not to dwell on the disability, but to find out deep within you that which you can do to improve your life and that of others. Sam Gombia is such an inspiration. He has found purpose and meaning in his life despite disability. He has shown us that the only thing that has the power to stop you from fulfilling your destiny is you. So today, take off all the limitations and embrace life in all its abundance. I'm Justine. Thank you for watching Life Stories. Have a great week ahead.